Someone declares that the signs foretold in the sun and moon, in earth and sea and sky, aloud proclaim to all mankind that the coming of the Master draweth nigh. You know, there's never a time I'm sure that he's at the door. It is now. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Songwriter declare it must be time for the waiting church to cast the pride away with girded loins and burning lamps to be ready for the breaking of the day. Oh, we must be. Oh, we must be. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I said there must be a breaking of day. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. The night is almost gone. The day is coming on. Oh, it must be the breaking of the day. So, church of God, let us arise and trim our lamps. Bless the Lord. I said, let us arise and trim our lamps, church of God. Hallelujah. And let us not be like the five foolish virgins. Bless the name of the Lord. But glory be to God, let us be as the wise that took their lamps and took extra oil in their lamps. Bless the Lord. the name of the Lord. Nothing is wrong with slumber in that times. Nothing is wrong with sleep. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. But we want the oil and our lamps to be trimmed and burnt while we wait in his return. Hallelujah. That even if we are sleeping, that even if we are slumbering, when the midnight cry comes, bless the name Pastor J. Edwards, Evangelist O'Reynolds, all the evangelists and missionaries on Zoom, all the saints in the sanctuary, all the visiting ones in the house of God today, all the saints and visitors on Zoom, greetings in the matchless name of Jesus, our soon and coming King. Bless the Lord. Truly the song got a hold on me, whether you're ready or not. Jesus is coming. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I said we cannot stop the return of Christ because we are not ready. Bless the name of the Lord. I said we cannot stop the return of Christ because we are falling asleep. Bless the name of the Lord. But he's coming back for a bride. He's coming back for a people that is awake. Hallelujah. He's coming back. Return. Bless the name of the Lord. 
to God. So the word of God declared, get in the gathering. All those who are doubt, lift up your heads to sing and to shout. For Jacob proclaimed that Shiloh will come. Bless the Lord. And if we believe the word of God and if we believe prophecy, bless the Lord, we can see that he's at the door. Bless the Lord. Now is not the time to give up. Bless the name of the Lord. Now is not the time to give in. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But now is the time to buckle up our shoes. Now is the time to gird up our loins. Bless the name of the Lord. Because soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to see the King. We stand to commence our divine service by singing Him 420. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. If you can stand, please stand with the children. You know, stand and sing to the honor and to the glory of God. Bless the Lord. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but will he lead on Jesus' name? On Christ the solid rock I stand All of the ground is sinking sand All of the ground is sinking sand When darkness seems to veil his face Darkness seems to veil his face Oh, 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 oh,
Yeah. 
We pass and we wave high. But pastor asks a question, was it this way before they hurt you? You say you forgive and you can't pray for the person. When they fall by the hands of the adversary, you say I'm good because he hurt me. Is that the heart of love? Is that the heart of forgiveness? Is that the heart that God wants us to have? He wants us to have the heart of flesh. That it can hurt you. That you can be responsive to the word of God. So that you can feel each other pain. But the heart of stone, you continue, you do, you do, you do. And it cannot be pricked. It cannot tell you that you must stop. The heart of stone, let your conscience just doesn't bother you. The heart of stone tell you it's okay because God doesn't expose me. So it's okay. But when I reminisce on the word this week, you are lost. You are lost no more. The heart of stone is so puffed up. And somebody opened them door, they take them out and say something to you. You say they take set on me. Because in your eye cannot respond to the word of God. The word of God can't break you. It can't make you because you have the heart of stone. But you don't have to continue this way. A new heart. Also, will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart, the bitter heart, the anger heart, the heart so you can do anything and live. And I will give you an heart of flesh. And I put my spirit within you and cause you to walk Bye. in my status. Church of God, you see the difference of the heart. You are walking in darkness because he is the light. So when you have the heart of stone, you're on the other side. You're not on the Lord's side. But we want to be like David today. Creating me a clean heart. The heart of stone is so defensive. You have reason for everything that you do. You cannot be corrected. I said I reminisce on this and I said we are so lost if the Holy Spirit reprove or rebuke us oh my God return haters because of the heart of stone when you have the heart of flesh you respond and say yes Lord to your will and to your way and go down on your knees and ask for forgiveness. And ask created me a clean heart, oh God. I renew a right spirit within me. But the heart of soul left you puffed up left, right, and center. Because when I put on this countenance, nobody said nothing to me. Can I tell you the good news? Nobody won't bother you. But the bad news is, you are lost. 
Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. The good news, the body will say anything to you. But the bad news is you are lost. Glory to God. Glory to God. The Spirit of God is here to lift us up. To rebuke and to reprove. People of God, humility is a way to get God's attention. And it's a way to grow. Do you want a new heart? And I will put my spirit within you. But you got to have a fleshy heart now. The spirit cannot join the heart of stone. You see what's going on here? It can't work. You must have a fleshy heart before the spirit of God can dwell. I said, I reminisce so much on it. What art do I have? Glory to God. I won't pass myself only. But God, search my heart, Jesus. Sometimes it's not the whole heart is stone, but there's a stone here. But roll away the soul. Glory to God. Mustard seed can't make it. But there's a mustard seed soul. Roll it away, Jesus. Part, we can't do it. I was looking back 99 and a half. It won't do. Glory to God. Glory to God. Support, we can't do it. So if I roll away three quarter of the stony heart, I'm going to go all a little malice. I'm going to all a little thing there. But may we drop it off one day. Yesterday gone, sweet Jesus. And tomorrow may never be mine. Remove it today, Jesus. Tomorrow's promise out to no man. Oh, glory to God. I said I preach to myself. When I see the scripture, and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my status, and ye shall keep my judgment and to do them, and ye shall dwell in the land that I give to your father. You know why some people don't make it? As our four parents did, because of disobedience. The lesson went forward today. I don't even really know that this was the lesson because for some reason I can't find my quarterly. But this was my scripture. This was my scripture. the same way 
and there's another one I don't want to cross my path is anger. Because evil trash mash, let me explore. It's like a bomb ready to explore. Church of God, that is a stone in the heart. But I'm asking God, whatever stone it is today, Jesus, roll it away, Lord, and set me free. Can I hear the church repeat that? Whatever stone it is, Jesus, roll it away and set me free. Sometimes it takes nothing for us to speak evil of our brother and sister. Glory to God. We have the stone of the tongue. And it takes nothing for us to be judgmental. And because somebody says something, we say something. But put a leech for me to Jesus. Because I want to make it in. Put a leech on my heart, Lord. Because I want to make it in. People of God, I don't know how well I sleep when I see the scripture. Because every word in the book, I take it to be mine. I'm happy for Brother Ezekiel. But he's speaking to me. So I'm taking it. People of God. Let I tell you what's going to happen when we get rid of the heart of stone. This big lump of stone that's standing our way weeks after weeks, week after week, and we can't get a breakthrough. And we wonder why, Lord. But there's a stone. Oh my God, sometimes the people of God come up before the Lord, they rebuke, and the stone is still there. You know why? Because it's that flesh. It takes the hand of God to remove some stones. It takes the intervention of the Holy Spirit himself to remove some stones. And it takes God time. Sometimes we pray and we think that it should answer now. But God say his time is his time. So my encouragement to you tonight, do not get so bad so that you pile up the stones because they will hard to break. Bless the Lord. When you wanna give them up, it will be too hard to give up. Somebody said I give up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, wash me glory. Jesus.
you're ready to say, I'm sorry. You're ready to say, I still love you. You're ready to hand down the hand of mercy. You're ready to stretch out love across. And then we can say we are one big happy family. Because the stone does not separate us. Flesh, we understand. We can detect what's going on. We can call somebody and say, let me pray for you. Because I'm feeling your pain. So the moral of the story is, come. God can change the heart of stone. But I ask him to wash you. Ask for a cleansing. I said I, I, I preach to myself all the time. And I said I come to share with the church. Because we know all about together and all of that. But is there a heart of stone? How do I respond if I hurt you? Love makes the difference. When you love God, you choose to know more about Him. You choose to know what it takes to be saved. And you are willing to give up the idols and the things that you hold on to. The idol can be a heart of stone. We idolize our children and our family so much. That if someone says something to them, the whole church knows. Because we are so off. We can't even worship God because you hurt somebody for me. I can't worship because you are in the church. When they idolize our family, the art of stone mash up the whole service. Because somebody is mad. But remove it, Jesus. We want peace. We want joy. But we have to ask God to do our inner work. We can't continue the same way every day. I like to be alone. I get time to search myself. Where I was last week with God and where I am today. Because many times we overlook something and speck can keep you out of the kingdom of God. But give me an heart like dying today, Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise God. I want to go down a little bit because I tell you this really stop with me. Such individuals are not only responsive to what God wants to tell them, they are also teachable. In that, they are willing to listen and to be corrected by others. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Praise him. Sometimes because, because we are not willing to listen, and to take correction. A fool despises correction. Because we don't want to listen, we cannot be corrected. You know how much time someone will some, some, see something about to happen to someone evangelist. But their attitude and their behavior, it done on you to say something. But that attitude and all the countenance, you're all back. 
And when you all back, I see what happened, you say, oh my God. But because if that person was the type of person you could go to, it would be well. We refuse. But you know why you don't go to the person? Because the art of stone. You're afraid how they're going to respond. I said I take every word for myself. Give me a heart, a receptive heart, a humble heart, a meek heart. Let even one child can bring a word to me. And help me, Lord, to humble myself. Because people of God, my desire is to make it. I want to see this man, Christ Jesus. But there are a lot we have to do in the heart. Some because we're not broke out, some we're not this, we think it's okay. But search me, oh Lord. Know my heart. Try me, oh Savior. Because, oh my God, it won't be good. Weeks after weeks, we are here. But the heart is of stone. I said, I feel like I want to scream when I was reading. I'm closing. But there's a note and I want to leave the note with you. This week when you read your Bible and pray, let your eye be soft towards the word of God. As he poke his finger into each heart here. Just imagine that. Listen to his instructions and rely on the spirit power to help you heal and obey. Let him shape you into a beautiful and a useful vessel. The art of stone is not useful to God. It is useful to the devil. Let us examine ourselves today. I'm happy to be here today to share this with you. Because maybe for some weeks from this, I won't be able to stand before you. But while the Lord tarries, I will be around. I want to take this scripture. And, 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 and I'm pressing on the people of God. I'm asking you, I want everyone to mark it in your Bible. And while you don't see me, look at the flesh and the stone. And ask God. What art do I have? Do I have a fleshy heart? Do I have a stony heart? I'm not feeling well today. This week I'll be in the hospital doing a surgery. But I don't want you to even worry about me. Because someone have me in the palm of his hands. But this scripture it broke my heart because the people of God is still walking with the heart of stone. And when the people of God with my sisters and my brother, when I can detect something like this, I am hurt. Because I have the heart of flesh. And I know 
we make sacrifice to worship and to be here. But this wicked devil with this heart of stone keep beating on the people of God. But I pray for you. And I need you to pray for me. And ask God to search and see whatever inside of me that not supposed to be. To remove it. Take it out and set me free. There's a song like that, but I don't know it. Search me, search me, search me, Lord. Search me, search me, search me, Lord. Turn the light from heaven in my soul. Save the only thing that should not be. Take it out and save me. Just search, search me, Lord. Oh, search me, search me, search me, Lord. Search me, search me, search me. Find a light from heaven in my soul. Someone and her, my, her family and I, 
did have something going on. And she ate me so bad. But I went to God in prayer when I become a Christian. I started to pray about the situation when I accept Christ. Because I know she have an heart against me. And I said, God, I know how broad in she is. If I say I, she's going to use my Christian life and paint me so bad and embarrass me. But I keep praying and I can't forget I went on a bus from Kingston. You know, bus that you're standing. I see someone pushing in the middle of the bus and come and say, Oh, Paul, walk one. I was so shocked. I respond, Ah. Eh? Church of God, all I could say, ah. Because I know I could never call to that lady. But when the art is in tune with God, even your very enemy have to be at peace with you. Somebody help me worship God. Somebody help me worship God. Glory to God. It's good to apologize. But I said before I go and apologize to anybody, I'm going to ask God to touch their heart. I want to feel free praying for them. And I'm asking God to save them. And I have two others that say, oh, I'll give you 10 years to, to be a Christian. 10 years I'm giving you to remain a Christian. 10 days to 25 years. I didn't see them and call to them. You know what happened? They start to call me Christian. They said, I know that you're a Christian. And then I start to break the word of God. And they too accept the Lord. Bless the Lord. So when you have the heart of flesh, you can put somebody. You can go on the behalf of somebody to God. You will see the need to pray for your enemies. You will see the need to look. You will see the need to ask God to save them. But when you see yourself as child of God and thank God you have a testimony and the next one don't have any and you find joy there, it's not a part of God. It is God that God would like everyone to repent and live, not to die in our sin and with a heart of stone. I need your prayer. Praise God. I won't be here next week. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Wonderful scripture today. Wonderful words of life. Amen. Praise God. The song said, change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. And that's what our Christian journey comes down to, church of God. Our heart like Christ. We can fool ourselves as we want to fool ourselves. You know, and there's something that she said that stood out in my mind. She said, fortunately, you know, someone will know something and don't say it to you. But unfortunately, you will be lost. Because you are left up to your reprobate minds. But church, we don't want to be left up to our reprobate minds today. But we want to ask God to give us a heart of flesh. To take away the heart of stone. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. We want to thank God for their evangelist. Give God a praise for her church of God. Give God a praise for her church of God. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name. Wonderful words of life. Let's pray our strength. You know, let's put her before God, church of God. Because the enemy is trying to do, you know, to play tricks with the people of God. 
but by the grace of God, she will be victorious. Bless his holy name. Because there's work in the vineyard for her to do. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise his holy name. So let's continue to pray around church of God. That God will grant her the victory again and again and again and she I know she will continue to have her testimonies bless the name of the Lord bless the name of the Lord because when you have a heart of flesh then your faith and your anchor is hold in Christ Jesus praise his holy name